y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are having a great day. Let's start this off on a funny note. I just filmed this whole video without turning the camera on. So let's just do it all over again. The other day was Greg's off day and we ran to um, Readyville, Tennessee. A friend of mine, Miss Isabel from TJ's Antiques and Collectibles messaged me. She knew I had been looking for something and she gave me a heads up that they had posted um, some pictures of their booze and they had this. So I know I said I was gonna thrift these, but for $16, I was able to get four of my glasses that I needed to go with my picture. Now, at Goodwill, these might have been two ninety nine or three ninety nine a piece, so it would have been about the same. At City Thrift, they probably would have been a dollar ninety nine. So I have not seen these. I went ahead and grabbed them. They're going to be great for either my Christmas tablescape or winter because I use green in the winter too. But while they were there, I grabbed this. It has our lion and unicorn stamp. It is Alfred Meekin, made in England, ironstone. We love that stamp, right? It is a small covered dish. Look at that lid. I have one where the bottom is brown and the lid is white. I had thought I might could swap them and have like an all brown one and an all white one. But it's up on our cabinets and I haven't asked Greg to get it down yet. And I think this one's a little bit smaller. But this was $24 and I was very excited to find that. Then we got this picture. Now y'all, I love that picture. It was there the last two times we were there. Um, the photographer signed it. It was taken in 1888. Um, I just... I love it. I love the sepia tones of it. Now it was $40, um, but I think it's a great addition to my wall. Then we went to Woodbury, which is just literally like right down the road. Um, and they have two antique stores there. They have, well, there's two that I know of. I think there's another one that always pops up, but it's closed down. Um, they have the Iron Pig. And so we went there uh, we really don't have a whole lot of luck there. We find a lot of things, but um, they're just a little bit higher. We, we always find a lot of things. We just I actually regret. I left a beautiful um, gilded frame there. It was only $10, y'all. I've been marked down. But the size of it, I just thought, well, I knew where I might could potentially put it, but I wasn't really sure if it was going to work. And if it didn't work, I was just going to have this frame that I probably wasn't going to even be able to do anything with. I should have bought it, put in my own booth because I don't know why it was just $10, but it was beautiful. But I did find this. I did find this small bell cloche. And I cannot remember how much this was. A part of me wants to say that this was $20 but I'm not 100% sure. Then we went, then we went to the old feed store and uh, well, it's called the old feed store because it's a huge like warehouse type. Well, it's not a warehouse, but um, part of it is an actual feed store and then the other part is an antique store. Uh, we've been there a few times and we you know, always find a few little things. I found for $5 my Fistoria creamer. I was excited to find that. I found this frame. We thought that would go great. Um, the print inside of it, he didn't like, and it was just like a, a you know, a replicated print of something. Um, but it does look good with the picture, and it looks a great addition to our gallery wall. We also got one more thing from there. Y'all know me. I don't ever know what's going on. I can't keep up with anything. I can't remember anything. Y'all know that I collect Crocs with the crown. And I have a one, and I have a three, and I have a four. And I needed a two. But we saw this for $20, and we both, I was like, oh my gosh, do we need a two or a three? And Greg was like, I don't know. I think it's a three. And I was like, I think it's a three. So I got this Croc for $20. So there's the three. It has a crack in it, goes 
I don't know if you can see it. Um, it was $20. And we grabbed it up. Greg didn't want to buy it. Greg doesn't like buying cracked Crocs. I don't store food in them. I don't see the big deal is because Crocs are freaking expensive. Um, get home. So excited. I needed a tube. So, I don't know for sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm thinking about maybe putting it in the laundry room when I get that redone. Um, I have a place for a two, but I don't have a place for number three. And I'm just not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this. I may save it, put it in a future booth. I may find something to do with it. I'm not 100% sure. So, this will not be, y'all won't see this styled probably anytime soon unless I just have a brainstorm and come up with something I can do with it. Um, the green glasses I'm going to put up. Uh, the Fastoria little picture will go up because I don't have any of that out for show right now. You might see, other than the pictures on the wall, you might see my little ironstone um, cover dish styled and if so, I will insert that picture at the end. I, you know, can go in there. I just have to rearrange some things and I'll try to get that done before I upload this video. Anyway, guys, we are all caught up. I don't have any more hauls for you guys. Thank the Lord. I know y'all probably think we've lost our mind. But like I said in a few videos back, this was just kind of like our vacation. Just having a little bit of fun while I'm off and we could spend time together and get out and go to some of the places that we don't get to go to very often. Um, so, we are finishing out the summer. I have um, one week trainings and appointments. Um, I have a wedding tomorrow. I have a baby shower the next Saturday. And then y'all, August 6th, it's back to reality for me. Um, so I'm trying to get out as many videos as I can so that we can spend a little time together this summer. All right, guys, if you like this video, please like, share. Um, I'm struggling with getting in the algorithm of YouTube. My have been on YouTube now for three years and as much and I love each and every one of you guys are awesome but I am still a very tiny tiny channel I know there are lots of little channels popping up that are already exceeding um, reaching milestones through YouTube um, that I just cannot get there so please like and share this channel um, Talk about it with your friends, you know, encourage people to at least give me a try. They may not like what they see. Greg says that he thinks the problem is I don't do a lot of decorates with me. I don't know, guys. I don't want to promise y'all that I'm going to work on that. Um, I create in my pajamas usually, sometimes very late at night. I seldom just throw something together. I study it. I um, think about it. Um... You know, I don't, I really, I try to just do things, get it right the first time. Um, and so, I don't think y'all would want to see me up, you know, 8, 9 o'clock at night in my pajamas playing with a piece of furniture or styling uh, bookcases. Some of you probably would, but, you know, for right now, I can commit to um, maybe some more home tours than what I do. And definitely still thrifting and showing you what I do with the thrifted items. I hope that that's good enough for now. Um, but, you know, we'll just see. Who knows? You never know what's going to come. All right, guys. I'm going to get off of here. I have to go cook dinner. My son wants um, enchiladas. I've only made those a few other times. So, hopefully, they'll turn out all right. Y'all have a great rest of your day. And until I see you again, happy thrifting.